Let's continue with the next row. 7 to the power of 5 divided by 7 to the power of 3. So we are going to write down 7 5 times and times together. 7 times, 7 times, 7 times, 7 times, 7. So there are 7, there are 5 7s. So on the bottom part, 7 times, 7 times, 7. We wrote down 7 3 times and times together. So we are going to simplify now. Let's simplify. 7 cancel 7 out and 7 cancel 7 out. Finally, we will have uh, we will have 2 7s. Seven, 7 times 7. So there are 2 7s and 7 to the power of 2 is the the result so do we have a short way yes yes we have 7 to the power of 5 divided by 7 to the power of 3 is 7 to the power of 5 minus 3 which is 7 to the power of 2 so what about what if we have big numbers what if we have big power 7 to the power of 21 divided by 7 to the power of 11 so now do I have to write all sevens down no I'm going to subtract 21 minus 11 will be 7 to the power of 10 3 to the power of 7 divided by 3 to the power of 5 is 3 to the power of 7 minus 5 which is 3 to the power of 2. Let's have a look at another example. 5 to the power of 120 divided by 5 to the power of 100, which is 5 to the power of 120 minus 100, which is 1, 5 power of 20. Okay, another example. 7 to the power of negative 3 divided by 7 to the power of negative 2, which is 7 to the power of negative 3. And you have to pay attention here because minus, and I'm going to use parentheses for negative numbers, it is going to be negative 2. So 7 to the power of negative 3 minus minus or two negative signs in a row, which is going to be plus 2. So the result is 7 to the power of negative 1. Okay, guys, I'm going to solve the last example for you. 5 to the power of 4 divided by 25. So 5 to the power of 4 divided by 25 can be written 5 times 5. And write all steps. 5 to the power of 4 divided by 5 to the power of 2. So 5 to the power of 4 minus 2 is going to be 5 power of 2 so this is the question guys that you are going to solve and it's going to show that 3 to the power of 8 divided by 81 equals what